And welcome back to The Colonel Does Feed the Beast. We are on the TPPI server. Thank you for joining us today. So we are going to have a little bit of fun with cows in this episode. Fun with cows and fun with turtles. <laughs> Everybody's favorite things. Uh, but first, I need to grab a, a little guy. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come on here, man. There we go. Gotcha. All right. So we are going to, as I say, have some fun with cows. But first, I want to... Uh, <laughs> I've been messing around with the turtles and really getting into it again. Um, and you can see the guy there. He's still doing his thing. And what we've done is we've added some code uh, so that we can basically refuel... As well as um, replenish the the shears. So uh, if you run out of shears, then he'll reload them. I can't. You can't see it from here, but I have added a couple of elevators here, so we can go down below and we can see that we've got a chest full of shears. So if we go back up, so we can see that he's got some durability left on this one. So now he's doing his south row cycle. And if, let's say, we don't have a shear for him to do anything with, he's going to continue on. He's going to skip the actual shear cycle. So he's not going to actually do... Actually, I think he's on the north side now. I can't remember. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but he gets on the... Whatever side he's on, uh, if he does not have shears, it will check to make sure that he doesn't have shears. And it will not shear it. So basically, it'll go to the end of the row and come back. Um, so you'll waste the fuel of going th for one, you know, half a cycle. But uh, at least you're not e wasting, you know, you're just not going all over the place all over the time. All of the time. And uh, wasting all of your fuel. So he's going to stop here. And as soon as he comes back, we'll uh, click into him. And we'll see that he... Oh, you know what? He's going to reload the shears is what he's going to do. <laughs> Uh, if there's no shears in the chest below, then what he'll do is he'll just stop. And he will do a cycle, wait for two minutes, and then do another cycle and wait for two minutes. So he's going to wait his two minutes, and then at the end of the two minutes, he's going to grab a, a new set of shears. So um, it's going pretty good. And we have also, as I say, we've added a refueling station here. I haven't got any fuel in here because I want to make sure that it works uh, properly. Unfortunately, he's got plenty of fuel to do this about another 100 times, uh, another 100 cycles. So uh, I'm just going to let this run until he runs out of fuel, and then we'll test that again. Uh, but I will put the code into, into uh, you know what, let's show you a little bit. Of, uh, you know what, I can't. We'll come back to this. Uh, I want to show you some of the code, just kind of walk through it a bit. Um, and we'll... Again, we'll paste the code. Did he not pick up shears? Man, if he didn't grab some shears, I'll be irritated. He totally didn't. You dumb turd. Why didn't you grab any? Oh, <laughs> I know why. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Because this is an older version of code. Uh, Shearman version 2.1 is the one that we want. <laughs> I've been testing this for a couple hours and I finally figured... I finally... Uh, I just realized that we had changed the name of the code. So it's Shearman... If I can type right... 21 in this case and again I'll put the code in the description if you want to download it um, so there's enough fuel to shear another 133 rows it's going to go to the north row and grab the shears and if we wait here for a sec we will see that it's going to shear the fir first couple of sheep there we go uh, so he did not there we go he's got the wool so he's going to do that cycle 
so I'm really happy that we're we've got the refueling done and we've got the you know replenishing the shears. So uh, we're all set there. Um, quite happy with that. He can just kind of go on forever. Uh, but today, I want to work on some new fun things. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a little bit of a, a slaughterhouse <laughs> for cows. Except we're going to have a little fun with it. Some morbid fun. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to... Uh, you know what? Let me... I don't know if these take up a whole block or not. They do. Well, that's good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig all this dirt out. Uh, yeah, we're going to dig all this dirt out. And we are going to set, put in some conveyor belts. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a turtle who's going to sit in the middle of a couple of cows and basically breed them. Uh, we don't need a stupid amount of... Um, we don't need a stupid amount of leather and whatnot, so it's not going to be. Oops, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not going to be something that uh, we're just going to accumulate forever and ever and ever. Um, although I guess it could run forever and ever and ever. But we're just going to, you know, run it for. He's going to breed once, basically, for each cycle. Uh, so I think. A breed cycle is like two minutes or something, so that's that's about all we're gonna do. So we're gonna breed for two minutes, and that'll be it. Uh, okay, so what we've got here is conveyor belts. And they're very finicky, if I recall. Um... Crap. There we go. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this project. When I came up with it, uh, <laughs> it just amused the crap out of me. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because I have some problems. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, Alright, so let's get these guys in here. Oh, crap. I thought they went up. Did they not go diagonal? Of course they do. I've seen it done. Do I have to have carpenter blocks here? Huh. Are you kidding me? Um, alright, I'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, but in the meantime, let me, uh, put the framework in place here. I want to make sure that these guys are going to make their way all the way around. <laughs> I find it interesting that I've, I'm using something clean like marble. Because this is going to get bloody. Alright. So what we're basically going to have here is a, we're going to have a turtle here. And he is going to be doing a lot of damage to these guys. Let's put some glass up. All right. And probably uh Yeah, that works. And I think we can 
do this. If we need to, we can get in there. Not a big deal. Alright, so let's try this out. We're gonna stick a little guy in here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And he's gonna plop down there. And there's going to be a turtle, and I believe he won't kill this guy unless he's grown up. Uh, so he's... If if it doesn't work that way, then I might have to raise the turtle up one. Um, but uh, this should be good. Yeah, that's my silk touch. Cool. Alright, so now we need to... Kind of get things in place so that we can uh, get the cows breeding, or at least get them situated at any rate, so that they are ready to go. Uh, so we've got a couple of pens here, and I believe that these are close enough that when you breed them, um, when you, I th and I think this will work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to experiment okay so we have I'm gonna put a fence here and we're just gonna basically use water uh, yep gonna have to close this off mm, yep no I just did that um, okay. And I th think I am a dingleberry, and I am. I forgot to do my water source. Oh, man. All right. And one more. All right. So now... Oh. <laughs> I guess I need another sign here. There we go. All right. Do one there. Do one there. Oops. Okay, so now when these guys breed, the those little bot, the little guys, little cows are gonna come down this chute here, um, and I th think what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. Just need to dig a little bit of a passage here. Server's a little laggy today, unfortunately. Alright. So we've got our little pathway here. So what we're going to do... I need to figure out why this is not working. Let me, um... Let me take a look. And, well, you know what? I know... Well, I don't know for a fact, but I'm almost entirely certain that if you have carpenter's blocks, the diagonal ones, uh, that it will work fine. I'm pretty sure I saw B00 doing something like that uh, with carpenter's blocks, having them go up on a diagonal. 
so let us, uh, you know what, let's use this guy. Uh, right. So what we need to... How many do we need? Probably ten. And then if I'm not mistaken... I believe we go like that. Eh, twelve will do. That works. Offload that. No, keep that. Offload that. Alright. <clears throat> so let's see if this will work. I'm pretty sure it does. And... <laughs> Come on, man! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, God. All right, let me figure this out. So it would appear that apparently you can use the precision sledgehammer to make the conveyor belts go in a diagonal. Um, so we are going to uh, make one. <laughs> it's a very simple recipe. Uh, three plastic sheets. Surrounded by, or with uh, a couple of sticks. So, oh, well, good lord. There we go. Precision sledgehammer. And uh, let us get rid of these guys. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I'm not sure where the, the conveyor, uh, not the conveyor belt, but the carpenter blocks fits. Um, unless it's just a purely aesthetic thing, but, uh, let's see if this works. Ha, huh, it totally does. So if I put a carpenter's block in here... Oh, for crying out loud. So if I do that... Hmm. Huh. I don't know how he got them to do that properly under the conveyor belt. If you know, please let me know in the comments, because that's going to drive me nuts, and I don't want to mess with it too long. All right, so uh, fix this guy here, and we'll fix this guy here, and uh, yeah, do this. Nope. There we go. Okay. Now I wonder. Oh, are you kid me. <laughs> give me off, give me off, give me off. Are you kidding me? Come on, dude, 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 dude. Oh, you cow. was annoying uh, all right so how am I gonna get down there now um, you know what there <laughs> I'm down all right so what are we doing here I think I have to build move this out one uh, you know what let me put a little dude on here to start this because I don't know if he's going to make it up that hill um, because I know that there is possibility that he's going to get his head stuck. Let's see if he makes it. Come on, little buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. Okay. And I think we're done with the water. So let me fill this back up. Oh, 
Oh. Trap myself. Oh, smokes. Okay, so uh, little guys are going to come down here. Flow from the water into the conveyor belt. So I can patch this up. It's not working. Not working. Huh. Maybe I need a fence in between then. Well, that sucks. Um. Well, crap. Fence and a fence. Although this is probably going to be a block at some point, so that we can have, uh, so we can have the computer in there or the turtle. Uh, let's see. So he's not. He's stuck there. Okay, so there's one guy. Yeah, better stay up there, dude. What are you doing? You glitching through? There. Alright, little dude. Should be coming up here shortly. What? Did you die? Oh. No, well, yeah, why why would you die, dude? Are you kidding me? Hmm. It's a little more glitchy than I had thought it would be. Crap. Alright, well we've been waiting for these guys to refresh themselves. Did a little uh bit of extra little decorating here. So let's see if this works. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, there's a dude. So hopefully he comes back up here. What? Why are you glitching? Hmm. I wonder if he needs the extra headroom. That might be it. He just might need the extra headroom. Alright, well, let's, uh, oops. Let's wait until <laughs> these guys are ready again, and let's try it a third time. Alright, take 15. All right, come on, little dude. <clears throat> don't, oh, excuse me, don't suffocate. Please, please, please. Oh, there you go. So it was that overhead. All right. <clears throat> looking good, looking good. Cool. Get back here, dude. <clears throat> Although that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> just keep going around in circles all right so that's cool that kind of works so let's uh get our turtle <clears throat> and let's see if this will uh this will work the way that we want it to work are you glitching out again What are you getting stuck on? He's stuck down the bottom there. Oh my lord. Why is this 
Such pain. <laughs> this is so annoying. All right. Let's just drop him in here. So this guy's not going to do anything because he's too small. All right, we're back, and for some reason, this guy's still glitching out. Come on, dude. Let me re-log and see if this uh, changes things. Seems to still be gl either he's glitching. Oh crap! Oh come on! It's that stupid block. So that didn't work nearly well as I had planned. Um, hmm. So this might not work at all, it seems. Which is a shame. Are you kidding me? How can you make your way all the way up there? You're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, I think I figured this out. So what's happening <clears throat> is that the, uh, the little guy... The baby, I almost call him a baby sheep, the baby cow, <clears throat> he comes up the stairs here, or up the, the, uh, conveyor belt, is what they're called. So he gets to the top, and then he's trying to pathfind his way to the adult cows. And the problem with that is that... The only way that he can find to get to the cows, when this is closed off over here, is to go back down, somehow, for whatever reason, uh, to go back down the hill here. So, <clears throat> what we need to do, and I've tried this, is we need to basically get that block to basically come out. So, piston it out, so that it blocks the entire way, and then the, the, the little guy will turn around and start running around this way. So... Uh, I need to have a way to have the little cow <clears throat> somehow, when this guy is triggered, actually no, uh, it's almost like I need a tripwire here, something to say that the cow has passed this point, and then once the cow has passed this point, then send this block out. I'm not sure how to do that. It would require a redesign of everything here, though. That I am pretty certain of. Huh. Trying a little something different here. See if we can get... Close this off. I was wondering maybe if having this opening here was causing the cow to run backward. So let's see if the baby turns around. I started making the tripwire and I thought maybe if I close this it'll eliminate that as an option. We shall see. Although, now that I think of it, I think I had this problem earlier. So maybe if everything's closed off, the baby still thinks that he has to go... Still thinks he has to go back. So he's probably running down the thing right now. And I bet if I open this... Maybe this... He might come running up here. <laughs> then again, maybe not. <laughs> I don't see him. And now I've got myself stuck. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, there he is. And now he's getting go. Ah! That glitch out thing, man. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I think the AI is just messing with it. I don't think this design's gonna work. Which sucks, because it was kind of fun. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I mean, it's no fun to just have a thing where the cow drops down and you kill it. I mean, there's, there's not really much fun in that at all. Although we could put the cows up here and just do that, but... I don't know, it's not that fun. Not much fun. This was kind of fun. Unfortunately, I think we're going to scrap this idea. It was a decent one. Um, there's just there's too many things that I can't overcome. Uh, I the only as I was talking about here, the only way that I could have tripped anything to block the the way off would be to have him coming up a slope. But there is no slope down there, and even if I had one after the uh, after the cow drops, um, he's still gonna try and run backward. So, um, can't, we can't do it. Oh, well. So this fun project, just start tearing this down. And, uh, I have to think of another one. Uh, <laughs> I want to use the turtle so bad, man. So we'll have to figure out something else. Uh, I, I think we're, we're going to definitely do some sort of tree farm with the turtles. Uh, I don't want to go like a hog wild tree farm, but just something to get some wood um, so we can at least get some power started and uh, basically get ourselves to be somewhat self-sufficient to the point where we can make the things that we need to get to the next level so that we can just kind of get rid of all the trees and not have to worry about that stuff. Uh, we are going to set up a bunch of little biome little things. Um, little biodomes, I guess. Little futuristic kind of looking thing that I have in mind that we will see uh, how well those go. Uh, I think they're going to look pretty cool. So we'll get around to those in the next couple episodes, but I think we need to get some more turtle action going. Before we start doing that, and uh, to do that, we need to find a project. So I think the next project will be the trees. And um, <laughs> unless I come up with something else between now and then. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We didn't really accomplish much, but we have kind of debunked uh, one idea. So that we can't, uh, there's nothing we can do for having a little fun cow farm but uh, maybe we can come up with some sort of other mob trap I, I, I know we can come up with another mob trap that's not going to be a problem but those aren't very imaginative uh, this one was I thought was kind of <laughs> it wasn't uh, it wasn't crazy imaginative but it was fun watching a cow just kind of zoom around oh well anyway so if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care. Oh, yeah. You know you like that. Give it a thumbs up. What's on your mind? Leave a text below. Subscribe.